Hi. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I want to talk with you or share with you how you can prepare for a video. And when I say prepare, I don't mean uh, what kind of equipment to use or how to operate your camera or to make sure to charge batteries or um, setting up lights or anything. Um, I want to uh, talk to you more about how to prepare, in my opinion, what is your best tool, and that is your voice. So I've got kind of a, a guide that I've prepared on my computer, so I hope that you don't mind. I'll be referring back to it, but um, you can use uh, these tips or this guide for uh, your next video if you're a content creator. Um, you can use it for a speech if you have a speech coming up in school or a presentation at work. And you can just use it every day, first thing in the morning when you're in the shower, um, just so that you can have a healthy voice. I think that a lot of times we uh, take for granted that our vocal cords are a muscle, just like every other muscle in our body that needs to be uh, warmed up properly and um, worked out to stay fit and toned. The first thing that I prepare before I am, you know, going to be speaking for a period longer than 10 minutes is I get a bottle of water and that is definitely good. It's good to hydrate your vocal cords and I'm sure that I don't need to tell you this, but having eight glasses of water a day is so beneficial for you and it's really something to not take for granted because uh, especially if you use your voice often and the next thing that i like to have with me is a cup of tea um it you don't want it to be ice cold because that will clam up your vocal cords but you also don't want it to be scalding hot because that will course damage your vocal cords as well so I like to um, just put my kettle on for a few minutes enough to get the water nice and uh, warm not hot and um, the tea that I typically use is chamomile tea and this is really good for not only soothing your vocal cords in your throat but also a really wonderful way to soothe your state of mind before you make a video. Um, I definitely, uh, I like to have it because, especially for making videos for relaxation, um, I find that my, uh, my voice is a carrier of emotion. So I, I want to make sure that I am in my best possible frame of mind and that I am relaxed. And uh, feeling good and, and ready to go. Uh, I put in a few things in my tea. Sometimes I will just put in a little bit of lemon juice or lemon oil. And uh, it's kind of good for clearing out any unnecessary phlegm you have in your throat. Don't put too much in, especially if you don't have any problems with phlegm because too much citrus will dry out your throat. But uh, it is really good at soothing irritated vocal cords. And then uh, I also have honey. Just a really good overall soother of... Uh, of your vocal cords. Okay, so for me, um, and this is probably argued a little bit, 
But um, to me, the, the three most important components to a good speaking voice are one, projection, two, articulation slash pronunciation, and three, vocal variety slash inflection. Now, I'm not going to be talking too much about uh, projection because since I am making this video for relaxation, I don't want to um, cause anyone who is watching this video for relaxation to jolt up awake because of me using a lot of volume. So I will skip past that except to say uh, that if you are a content creator and you are making videos in the uh, ASMR division. Uh, I know that a lot of content creators like to whisper, and I know that a lot of uh, listeners and viewers of the ASMR community and the relaxation whispering community, of course it's in the title, they like to hear the whispering. Uh, I would just like to give you all a word of caution that whispering does tend to uh, it tends to put a lot more strain on the vocal cords than necessary, and it can lead to hoarseness and even worse, uh, laryngitis. So, when you are whispering for a period of 10 minutes or more at a time, I would strongly recommend that you've got plenty of water, um, plenty of lukewarm or warm water to keep you hydrated and keep your vocal cords nourished throughout. Um, so the first thing that we're gonna do, and this is gonna sound kind of funny, um, and I'm just gonna say that as a warning, that some of these, uh, exercises are gonna be very funny. <laughs> so this first one is going to go a little bit like this, and again, for these purposes, I'm probably gonna go in and out of whispering. But don't worry, I've got plenty of water to keep me hydrated, so that should be fine. I shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't have to worry about straining my vocal cords too much because of the hydration. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start with the first set of exercises. Two, T, two, T, two. Two, T, two, T. B, boo, T, two. B, boo, T, two. We, way, we, way. And really, um, really exaggerate your particularly the exercises that help with articulation and enunciation or pronunciation. We, way, we, way, we, way, we, way. Mro, mro, mro. Mro, mro. For this next exercise, drop your jaw as you say. Tall, 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 tall. Goo. Go, 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 go. Ki, go, 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 ki, go, go, go. Now, for this next exercise, 
you want to exaggerate your tongue movements as you say Bead, bad, bird, bud, boom, boom Let's do that one again Bead, bad, bird, bud, boom, boom For this one, we want to feel the contrasting actions of the soft palate as you say aw mm aw mm aw mm aw mm mm aw mm aw mm these exercises, all of the ones that we just went through, it's good to repeat those ones about three times. And I will uh, spare those three times just so that you can move on. Now the, uh, there are some tongue twisters that I like to recite. So I'm I'm sure if you ever did like, I used to do theater in high school and college, so I uh, am very familiar with all of these, most of them anyway, but, um, so yeah, you might be familiar with some of them as well. I bet you'll let me get a bet. I bet you'll let me get I bet you'll let me get a pet. Unique New York, New York's unique. I know you know unique New York. Now these exercises are good for articulation, but they're also very good for um, vocal variety and inflection as well. Let's do that one more time. Unique This next list, I've got a list of uh, general sentences that are uh, really good at improving general articulation and enunciation. So let's go ahead and do that. That's perfect. Okay. Okay, that's perfect. Let's go on a picnic tonight. He gets triggered by gentle whispering. I really like your clothes. I haven't seen you in weeks. I love I love the colors blue and red. Would you like some maple syrup? Or a cookie? Or would you like some maple syrup? Or a cookie? That's just funkadelic. 
Would you like some Skittles? Just relax and you'll do good. Just relax and you'll do great. Aluminum foil is anything but silent. Your taste is quite exquisite. I've come up with a strategy. Shh, it's okay. Shh, it's okay. So this next portion, even though I didn't include it in the components of, uh, of a good speaking voice, is so very important. It is breath control, and uh, a lot of times, definitely myself included, we get in the habit of breathing uh, in the upper portion of our chest instead of from our diaphragm, which is down here, you can't see. But um, so try to make sure that you're allowing your belly to expand, and that's the best way to know when you are breathing through your diaphragm. So, let's see if you can do it. Why don't you repeat after me? Inhale through the nose and really make sure that your stomach is expanding to make sure that you're breathing. We're going to go ahead and uh, recite a poem from Shakespeare. It's just a really good poem to help you become conscious of your breathing. And uh, the standard is that you want to recite all three verses without taking a breath. I'm definitely not going to attempt to try that. So I'm going to try to take a, just uh, timely breaths. Just, just so that they're not, you know, in the middle of uh, a line. Let's go ahead and do that. First, we're going to breathe in through our diaphragm. Fear no more the heat of the sun, nor the furious winter's rages. Thou thy worldly task hast done, homework gone, and taken thy wages. Golden lads and girls all must as chimney sweepers come to dust. Fear no more the frown of the great, thou art past the tyrant's stroke. Care no more to clothe and eat, to thee the reed is as the oak. The scepter learning physic must. No more the lightning flash, nor the old dreaded thunderstone. Fear not slander, censure rash, thou hast finished joy and moan. All lovers young, all lovers must, consign to thee, and come to dust. So these last exercises are going to help you not only with articulation, but also help you to add some spice to them, aka inflection and vocal variety. To sit in solemn silence in a dull, dark dock, in a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock, awaiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock from a cheap and chippy chopper on a big, black block. I'm staying um, in front of the camera so that you can see that I'm physically moving my 
my mouth all around so that I can articulate. And the better you become at articulating, uh, you don't have to be quite so noticeable. But if you're um, doing a voiceover and you're not going to be on camera for that voiceover, you can you can open your mouth as wide and tall and crazy as you want to. <laughs> we'll do that one more time and then I'll go ahead and read it closer up for you. To sit in solemn silence on a dull, dark dock in a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock, awaiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock. From a cheap and chippy chopper on a big black block. To sit in solemn silence in a dull, dark dock, in a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock, awaiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock. From a cheap and chippy chopper on a big black block. This next one is called What a To Do To Die Today. What a to do to die today at a minute or two to two. A thing distinctly hard to say but harder still to do. We'll beat a tattoo at twenty to two. A rat Tattoo. And the dragon will come when he hears the drum at a minute or two to two today. At a minute or two to two. And this last one is called Proper Cup of Coffee. It's originally a song, but in my first year of college, someone used it as an articulation exercise, and I really liked it. And I hope that you will too, if you have not heard of it, or the song. All I want is a proper cup of coffee, made in a proper copper coffee pot. I may be off my nut, but I want a proper coffee in a proper copper pot. Iron coffee pots and tin coffee pots, they are no good to me. If I can't have a proper cup of coffee in a proper cup or coffee pot, I'll have a cup of tea. And I'm gonna try and say that just a little bit faster. <laughs> I'll probably mess up. But what the heck, I might as well try. All I want is a proper cup of coffee made in a proper cup of coffee pot. I may be off my nut, but I want a proper coffee in a proper cup of pot. pretty much it on the best day that is uh that is my vocal warm-up and of course i don't i don't use it in a whisper or a soft spoken voice <laughs> i'm sorry i'm kind of nervous so i've been breathing the wrong way so i'm kind of out of breath from going back and forth but um yeah that is my vocal warm-ups i uh i hope that you will use some of these, and I can definitely uh, provide them. I, in fact, I will. I will provide these warm-ups in the link uh, in the description box below. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed yourself and saw all kinds of crazy faces by this gal. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um,